fan fiction an omelet of passion. <laughs> so this is Johnny Silverhand fan fiction? What? Wh okay, okay, I'm gonna skim through this. I have to. <laughs> Y'all, I got a little story I hope you like. I wrote one after the final Samurai concert. Could not resist. Johnny forever. Wiki face. Johnny was sitting on a windowsill, sipping hot cocoa and gazing out as the sun was beginning to go down. He loved this time of day because the red, sky, red in the sky made him think about the bomb that would bring down the corpo system and because it reminded him of how fleeting life is. Then, all of a sudden, the smell of bacon snapped him out of his deep thoughts. He threw his mug and swore, because it was definitely that bitch alt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so so the the first job in any one fan fiction is first you have to cut out of the picture the actual real life love no, interest. Oh god! <laughs> no, god, please, no! 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 Oh no! my god. Cause cause IRL Johnny is seeing Alt Cunningham. So okay, anyways, he threw his mug and swore because it was based definitely that bitch Alt who was trying to impress him with breakfast again. Johnny flipped back his oil black hair and groaned. He thought, this stupid girl won't leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, that's hot as fuck, right? <laughs> Even though he was brooding and clenching his square jaw in anger, he still put on his dog tags and a little makeup. Oh, I see you don't go oh natural, Johnny. To go downstairs for breakfast. But then when he got to the kitchen, he was stunned. It wasn't Alt. It was Carrie Uridine. Who <laughs> canonically, canonically, Johnny has actually slept with every single band member in, in Samurai except for Carrie. And not because he didn't want to, just because he actually just didn't get around to it. He didn't like that Carrie kept pestering him to sleep with him. So he decided to go to every single person else in the band before Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of a double slap in the face. Anyways, what are you doing here? He asked in total shock and wiped a lock of thick black hair from his eyes. Carrie stood there with a frying pan in his hand and with a surprised look at Johnny's outburst. Um, I'm making you eggs? He said, and his face turned bright red like a pepperoni. Then a second later, the two rocker studs both noticed the smoky smell of burning bacon. Carrie's deep brown eyes turned to the nano burner, and he tried to turn it off, but he actually turned it up even higher, and the whole nano stove burst into flames. Wow, Johnny calmly thought, looking at his tomb, panicking and trying to put out the fire. How is this klutzy gonk even gonna, even in my band? But before he could make fun of him or laugh or anything, Johnny heard a loud crash and a mysterious figure landed really close to him. It was Toshiro, the infamous Arasaka Corpo Thug, which actually is a character we, as far as I know, we haven't seen in Cyberpunk 2077, maybe in DLC. It's over for you, Silverhand, said the Japanese agent with an evil smile, and then he fired at the silver-armed legend. No, Johnny thought to himself, it can't end this way. There are still corpse I have to destroy. I have so much left to do. I, I have to. I have to tell... <laughs> I have to tell Carrie that I love him. <laughs> yes, it was when he was spitting up blood on the floor and flexing his sweaty biceps and abs in pain that the raven-haired rocker boy realized he loved Carrie, even if he was terrible at making breakfast. <laughs> but there wasn't any more time to tell him how he felt. He couldn't move or talk. The pain was so bad. And then, darkness. But then, with the last of his strength, he saw Carrie kneel down next to him and slit his wrist with a steak knife? What are you doing? Johnny asked in horrible pain. Shut up and drink, you leadhead. I'm saving your ass. <laughs> I'm... Oh my god. <laughs> 
I am a half demon, half angel, and my blood holds the power of eternal life. I already killed Toshiro with a single strike of my other demon power that I always used to crush Corpo Scum. <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch, you're dying, he said, half conscious, as he tasted the metallic taste of blood and looked deeply into Carrie's almond eyes. Carrie, listen, I love you, you, co <coughs> you damn fool. Then Johnny passed out, and a sweaty lock of jet black hair fell across his face. I know, Carrie said, and smiled with a tear in his eye. And because he felt the same way, he put his lips on Johnny's and kissed him warmly and softly, the tear falling on his cheek. Then he smiled, breathed deeply and slowly, and whispered in Johnny's ear, and now we'll always be together. <laughs> By Lily Silverhand, 2021, which I'm pretty sure is a pseudonym because I don't think Johnny had any kids that he knows of. <laughs>